As summer draws to a close, you might have a bumper crop of zucchini still coming in, the last of the basil, and you're trying to figure out what else can I do with it? Well, let me suggest to you this splendid zucchini basil soup that captures the concentrated flavor of summer. Everything that you were able to get from your garden or the grocery store. It's delicious and elegant, but it only takes a few minutes to make. So let's get started. Okay, we're gonna start by grating the zucchini. You can grate it by hand or you can do it in a food processor. I got three pounds of zucchini here and it's just too much of a hassle to do it uh, in, uh, you know, by hand. So I'm just gonna do it all in the food processor. I'm just gonna cut off the tops and uh, just cut them in half. All right, we're gonna go over to the food processor and get these grated up. Alrighty, you may be thinking that that's a lot of zucchini for six or seven servings, maybe eight. But what we're gonna do is shrink it by salting it. And we're going to let the zucchini weep. And that's gonna get rid of a lot of the water. And what that's gonna do is concentrate the flavor of the zucchini uh, so that it's not just this watery mess. So we're salting that, that's gonna get rid of the water. And we're gonna see after about 20 minutes, a bunch of green liquid in this bowl. Super short list of ingredients. I've got an onion. We're gonna saute off with a little bit of garlic first. And then we're gonna be adding the zucchini after it's finished draining and some basil, puree it all, and that's it. And it's gonna have so much flavor. It's that concentration of the, that concentrated flavor of the Zucchini along with the basil is an incredible mixture. So we're going to dice. Okay, so we're gonna cook the onions and garlic first. You can just cook them in a couple tablespoons of water if you like or broth so you don't have to use any oil. I used to teach this soup for the McDougal program because it's one of these things that you can avoid using any oil whatsoever and it's still so rich and flavorful. But today, uh, just because I want to keep things rolling along, uh, cooking in water takes a long time. A couple of tablespoons of olive oil will speed the process up. Add my onions and garlic. I'm going to put a lid on it. So I'm going to be steam sauteing, so it kind of helps cook that faster and prevents them from burning. So we're going to let that go for a few minutes. I'm going to just check on it and stir it from time to time. Let's just take a look at the zucchini, see how that's doing it. We're going to start squeezing what's left of the water in the zucchini and just get that in there. Now this, this green water is pretty salty because I, because we salted the zucchini, but you can bake bread with it actually. Instead of using water, you can use this green water, this green salty water to make bread. In fact, I might do that tonight and have some bread for tomorrow. It's got a lot of flavor too. I'm not talking about the sweet zucchini bread, I'm talking about something hearty like a baguette or something. Okay, so as you can see, I had all that zucchini. I had three pounds of zucchini. And after salting it and squeezing the water out, I'm getting this a small amount of very, very concentrated zucchini flavored zucchini. So if that makes any sense, you're concentrating all that flavor. You don't lose the flavor. You're just losing the water. And that's gonna go in the pot with the onions in a minute. Now this method for zucchini, you can use for other things. I often do this as a topping for pizza. It's great. You can also just saute it, add some raisins, some pine nuts. Uh, and that's another way of just having a little side dish. So if you've got a bumper crop of zucchini and you're trying to figure out what to do with it, this method of grating, salting, and squeezing will allow you to get through that crop of zucchini. So there, I'm going to reserve that water 
few strands fell in there, that's okay. And I'm gonna use that to make some bread. Okay, let's get the zucchini in the pan. I'm gonna add six cups of broth. So that's about five, I've gotta get another cup. And we're gonna cook that for about 10 minutes until the zucchini uh, is completely tender. Bring that to a boil and then we'll simmer it. Okay, so this part is optional. To make the soup a little bit richer, you can add some cashew cream or, or not. You could add something like an oat milk creamer as well if you can find one that's unsweetened. But you can make this so easily. This cashew cream will not only make the soup richer, but you can use it to add a little decoration on top too, which is always kind of fun. So I've got three cups of water and one cup of raw cashews. That is it. That is the entire recipe. Oh, so easy. And as I mentioned, it's optional. But I got all this time on my hands while this cooks, so I might as well make it. <laughs> Okay, the cashew cream is ready, and oh, we're just waiting for the soup to cook. Now, I'm not going to wash the jar because I'm going to puree the soup in here. Okay, I think the soup is cooked enough. It's been about 10 minutes or so. Now I'm going to add the basil. You want about three quarters cup uh, of packed basil leaves. So I'm going to just... And uh, ah, it looks like it's about three quarters of a cup give or take. And we're just going to plunge it into the soup for a brief moment and then we're going to puree it all. Throw that in there for a minute. You can smell it. It smells delightful. Just going to let that simmer for about 30 seconds. I've had this recipe for 15, 20 years. I don't know. It's been one of my, it's one of my favorites actually. It's so simple. Okay, we're gonna start pureeing this in batches. You can use an inversion blender. I prefer just to do it in a real blender because, well, I already made the cashew cream. And secondly, it gets it a little bit smoother. And I, I really do want this one to be smooth rather than chunky. Okay, now it's hot and you don't want a dirty ceiling. So get yourself a towel, take off the lid there to allow the air to escape and turn it on low. And then you can turn it up. Ah, oh, that looks beautiful. All right, now I'm gonna, I gotta transfer that into another container, so I'm gonna put it in this one. Doesn't that look lovely? You can serve this cold as well, but uh, it's, even though it's hot and you might have this on a 90 degree day, it's somehow refreshing because of the intensity of the basil and the zucchini. We're going to put that back in the pot. You want to combine them because there might have been more solid food in one, one blenderful than the other. You want to make sure that they're combined so it's one consistency. Now, if you want, you can add a little bit of cashew cream or you can skip that and add just a little bit. Give that a stir. Uh, look at that beautiful pastel blue green color. All right, let's serve this up and see what it's like. I cannot wait to dig in. I can smell this. I mean, it is such a fragrant soup. Look how beautiful it is. Let me just give this a taste. It's hot still. It's so intensely flavored. I mean, you would, you know, zucchini is usually sort of a, 
a watery vegetable. I love it, but it's not an intensely flavored vegetable. But when you concentrate the flavor by getting rid of all the water and then combining it with basil, you just get this magnificent soup. It's delicate, it's elegant, it's light. What it's a perfect ending to a beautiful summer. Thanks again for watching The Vegan Good Life with Miyoko. If you liked it, like and subscribe, and I will see you again next time.